can download the ODS Opening Document Spreadsheet created in this tutorial at thefrugalcomputerguy.com. Just go to the Video Tutorials, Office Spreadsheet, and on this page I will place the download. In this video tutorial, we're going to look at the weekday function. Now, the weekday function, some of you may wonder why we'd have a function to tell us day of the week because we can do this with formatting as I'll show you right here. In B5 we've got our dates and in column A we've got uh, just a copy of what's in B, column B. If we reformat this, format cells and I need to go to user defined. To make the day show we just click DDDD in the box here we can see Sunday clicking OK we see each day of the week and I'm going to center those so why do we need a weekday well the problem now is we can't do any kind of manipulations on if it's a Sunday if it's a Monday we don't take deliveries on Tuesdays only on Wednesdays so there's no way to tell unless we have this weekday function how this weekday function works is we say equals weekday the uh, the date that we want to have uh, looked at and I'm going to use B5 and then the type which is in my first case 1 I'll copy this using control C highlighting and control D I also want to center this just so it looks a little nicer now to see exactly what's, what we're looking at, or to remind us all, I'm going to say equals formula C5. And that shows us that in column C we're looking at weekday B5 comma 1 in this first uh, cell here in the C, C5. Now what the other option is is equals weekday b5 2 and this one is showing that Sunday is 7 so in let, let me finish the whole thing here before I start talking about uh, equals formula uh, d5 so now we can see and now I'm double clicking to uh, auto size the column and I want to center this and copy this formula all the way down so we're looking at it. All right, now that we got everything showing, we can see that if we use type 1, Sunday is our first day of the week. If we use type 2, Monday is our day of the week. Now where that might come in handy is, uh, let's do some conditional formatting. We've, we've done some before. so. I'm going to create a new uh, create a new style, and I will call this weekday. And I will need to modify it. We'll make the weekdays like the uh, yellow here, and then we need to create a style for the weekend. New style weekend and I will make this one green alrighty and we don't need to show what that is so I'm going to control C control V because we don't want that cell that I just happened to be in when I created my formulas showing this up we want to highlight our box and format conditional formatting if the formula is equals d5 less than 6 it we know that it will be a weekday because we're using column D which is style 2 so 7 6 and 7 are the weekend and 1 through 5 is a weekday so we know that if it's less than 6 it's a weekday our condition 2 is formula if d5 is 
greater than 5, we know it's a weekend. So we make this weekend. And we had one little problem with this format. And that is that, let's take a look again. Format, conditional formatting. We said D. So it, when it went to B, this went to E. When this went to C, it went to F. So we need to keep this in column D by using the dollar sign to anchor. And I do have a video on there explaining anchoring in full detail. And now we have it all showing that our weekends are one color and our weekdays are another. And you could pick out a day of the week or however you would like to use it. But basically, this is how the weekday function works and a basic reason of why you would want to use it. Yeah.